Some weeks ago, we asked you on Instagram about some challenges. What would you like to challenge us? A lot of you said we should show our daily activities here in Srida Mayapur. First, we were thinking, what should we show you about our daily life? But the challenge stuck in our head and we decided to film one week of our daily life in Srida Mayapur. We don't have to film everything? No. No? no. Like you cleaning? But it's, cleaning is so nice. It's such a nice part of life to clean stuff. Everyone would agree. <laughs> you like cleaning, Sadie? I love cleaning. <laughs> you love cleaning. Actually, I am on my way out to bring Padmini to school, but there is something I wanted to show you quickly. This. <laughs> This is a maha blouse of small Radharani. Some days ago we had a festival here in Sri Dharmaya, Purpusha, Abhishek. And a lot of ladies came together and made this beautiful, beautiful flower outfit for Radha Madhava here in Sri Dharmaya. One day later after the festival a lady gave me this blouse of Radharani. And it's very special because we believe that Everything which came in contact with the Lord, like a cloth or a garland, is charged with spiritual energy. And when you come in contact with this thing, you also get a glimpse of this, of this energy. And in this way your mind is purified and your thoughts are purified and your heart is purified. And you are more inclined to do service for the Lord. So this is a very special peace I need to learn Bangla. Now I was filming the, wanted to show you a little bit the beautiful morning at the Jalangi. And there was this man, he's owning a, or well, he was building a big, big boat there. Big, big boat. But I could hardly understand him, and it's so frustrating. Krishna Teke. Krishna Teke Ashti, we don't say that. Eta Krishna Teke Ashti. Yes. Everything comes from Krishna. Yes, everything <laughs> is coming from Krishna, yes. Everything is coming from Krishna. Shop Kichu, everything is Shop Kichu. Shop Kichu Krishna Teke Ashti. When we're small, then it is the natural time to learn. Right? We go to school, we learn all these useful, hopefully useful things for life. And in our tradition, it is said that until the age of 25, that's your time when you are learning. That's your, that's your purpose in life, <laughs> to learn. And, but I am almost 40. Does that mean 
I should not learn anything anymore. I don't know. It comes the vlogger, <laughs> vlogger lady. Can you tell me your thoughts about learning? My thoughts about learning? Yeah. What exactly? Now, is it uh, how is it how, how do you experience it? Is it stopped at one point, or is it a lifelong experience, or? I mean, there's so many aspects of learning. You can learn about skills and information. You can learn. Uh, about yourself, and that's actually the ultimate learning. About the ultimate learning is learning about yourself, self-realization, and ultimately also God consciousness. Who, who is God? Who am I? And what is this whole world all about? What is my connection to this world and to the Supreme? So that's the biggest aspect of learning. How was school, Padmini? It was good. What did you learn today? I learned about Shravanam. What is Shravanam? Shravanam is hearing. In Sanskrit, it's the first step to devotional service. Of course, learning never ends. There are life circumstances changing. We have to learn new skills or adopt to new environments. But the ultimate subject to learn about is about ourselves, is to realize ourselves and to realize God. I started to think about the existence of Krishna when I was 24, and there were so many new things to learn. And there are so many things to learn about. But the most extraordinary, extraordinary point for me is that it actually never stops. If by some mercy I will be able to realize God in every second of my life, then there is still no end to it. Krishna can show us more and more aspects about him. This is extraordinary. This is far out that it really never ends. It is unlimited if, if we really want and willing to learn. What was the best thing you learned today? Geography. Because everyone might think diamond is the most precious. There are 12 other rocks that are more expensive than diamond. Oh.